Okay YouTubers, 720p, 30 frames per second, um, I'm doing this, it's going to be a flash test. So I'm going to turn the light off in a minute and it's going to go pitch black and you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to show you what the flash was like. Also, I wanted to say that I sort of got ahead of myself um, in the first bit of the low light tests. Um, the quality of the picture that you see on the LCD displays is pretty good. After watching it back on my computer, the quality was slightly different. Compared to the Panasonic, the bedroom shot, I think the Panasonic did slightly better. But like in all these tests, I leave it up to you. Put in, please put in the comments what you think. Um, I have noticed the autofocus thing playing up a bit, um, but that doesn't bother me. But like I say, I'm doing all this so you guys can see what this is like. Um, so let's get on with the flash test. Turn the light off. Right now, put the old flash on. Skadoosh! Now that's pretty good flash. You can't use the flash on the Panasonic DC1, but you can on the Sony Blue Duo. Now what I'm going to do is let's have a look, see what the dual screen display thing is all about. Oh, that's bright! So if I was in a dark pub <laughs> um, and I needed to light me face, or if I wanted to interview someone in a dark alley, <laughs> in a dark room, <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds terrible. Then I could use the flash and you'd be able to see my face and that's pretty good. I mean, basically, I'll turn the flash off and you can't see nothing. Put the flash back on. So that is pretty good. That is a pretty good flash. Um, so I'm quite chuffed with that. So that does pretty well. Okay, well, that's enough of this low light test. I do apologise for jumping the gun a bit as far as the video quality is concerned. But yeah, more tests to come. And I am finding out quite a lot of interesting things about this camera. Hope you have a good evening. Bye bye for now.